All right, day seven video. Um, look, I was gonna talk a lot about and show a lot more video of getting around Bali and some tips and tricks and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I bunged one of my toes up um, very early in the day, so I actually ended up most of the day with my feet up, just trying to make sure that it go down and make sure that it wasn't gonna create any other issues. So instead, I thought I would talk more about the actual culture of the people here. So. One of the big things that I've noticed here is that when the Balinese approach you, as a person with a disability, they assume that you can do something until they know otherwise. Whereas in Australia, so often people automatically assume that I can't do anything until they find out the other way. And it makes for amazing things, like suddenly you know, they don't assume that I can't order or assume that I can't speak for myself or assume that I can't make my own decisions. Um, I mean, for the first time in years, okay, at lunch, I was sitting there and we asked for the bill and as the bill came out, I was the closest person to where the weight was and he passed it straight to me, which was brilliant. Like, it's these small things. He didn't assume that I couldn't do that. Um, yeah, it, it's absolutely amazing. And it's something that, as Australians, we really need to work on. Really, really need to work on. So, yeah, I, I absolutely love it. Just that recognition as a human. They see, they see me as, as a human, not, as, not a, a bloke in a chair. Um, no, sorry, more a, a body in a chair, I suppose. Um, you know, and another example of that is... <laughs> Um, you know, going along the street um, or going along the footpaths and that. You know, all of the Balinese and all of the locals will say hello as we go past. They'll, you know, have a chat and whatnot. You know, and admittedly some of it is because it is sales tactics and that, and I, I, I see that, but it is genuinely friendly. They're not condescending or anything like that. So, you know, compare that, and it was made very, very stark by... Um, you know, there I am, I'm going along and the Balinese will often say hello to me before I say hello to them. But the Westerners, the Australians, the others, they won't say anything to me unless I say something first. As in like, oh, I don't know, I, he probably can't talk anyway, I'm not going to bother saying anything. And then when I say something, they're like, oh, oh, okay, yeah, and chat. Um, I know, it's just weird. It's, it's a difference in culture, I suppose. Um... Yeah. Um, and hey, big shout out to uh, to Adam uh, and and Brad because, uh, well, you know they've sent me messages telling me to, to stop showing off about my holiday because they're jealous. Well, sucks to be you guys. Anyway, hope you're all enjoying the videos. Um, look after yourselves. Look after each other.